In this video, I will show you how to quickly collapse the ribbon in Microsoft Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, and then how to expand it again. Let's get started. So there are times when you're working in one of these three programs when you might start to feel kind of cramped. You might wish for a little bit more screen space, and the ribbon takes up a significant amount of that space. So what can we do about that? The quickest way to collapse the ribbon so that it's out of the way is to hold the control key and tap F1. As soon as you do that, the ribbon gets collapsed, and now you have extra screen space to do your work. If you hold control and tap F1 again, the ribbon comes back. It expands. Now there are two other options for collapsing and expanding the ribbon. You could go over here to the lower right corner of the ribbon itself and click on this arrow. Then you could choose show tabs only, and now only the tabs are visible. Now if you go back to that arrow, it may not let you bring back the ribbon. But of course you could hold control and tap F1 and the ribbon expands again. Now let's look at the third method of collapsing and expanding the ribbon. If you double click on the tab for the ribbon that you're currently on, that will also collapse the ribbon or expand it. So I'm on the home ribbon, I'll just double click on home and the ribbon is collapsed, double click on home again and it expands. What if I'm on the review tab? That's okay, just double click on the review tab, the ribbon collapses, double click again and it expands. Now these same three methods also work in Microsoft Word. Let's say I'm typing along and I just wish I had a little extra space at the top of the screen so I could see more of the document. I can hold Control, tap F1, and then later if I want the ribbon back, again, Control, F1, it comes back. I can also use this arrow in the lower right corner to show only tabs, and then Control 1 to bring that back. And then my third method, finding the tab of the ribbon I'm currently on, double clicking to collapse the ribbon, double clicking again to expand the ribbon. And PowerPoint works the same way as well. Control F1, I do have that arrow to show only tabs, and then I can bring it back with Control F1, and then I can also double click on the tab to collapse the ribbon, double click again to expand the ribbon. So in this video, I've shown you three different methods that all work very well for quickly collapsing the ribbon in Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, and in PowerPoint. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video. And you can support me also through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. You don't know how much it means to me, but I really appreciate your support, which makes it so I can continue making these educational videos. Thank you. Thank you.